there's something you like, feel free to cheer. Chicago native. All right. We've got a lot of Chicagoans here today. Chicago native Joe Montana made his Broadway debut. Whoops, let me see. Yes. He made his Broadway debut in Stephen Schwartz's musical of Stud Turkle's Working. He later went on to win the Tony and Joseph Jefferson Award for his acclaimed performance as cynical real estate agent Richard Roma in David Mamet's Pulitzer Prize winning play, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Woo! Closely associated with Mamet's work, Joe starred in the theatrical premiere of A Life in the Theater, The Disappearance of the Jews, and in the Broadway production of Speed the Plow. In addition, Joe directed a critically acclaimed stage production of Mammoth's Lake Boat, starring Ed O'Neill and George Wendt. He made his feature film debut in 1985 in Frank Perry's Compromising Positions. His early films included co-starring roles in The Money Pit, Weeds, and Suspect. He also starred in the critically acclaimed David Mamet films House of Games and Things Change, for which he co-starred with Don Amici. Both received the coveted Best Actor Award at the Venice Film Festival. Now he's been in a lot of films, but we picked out just a few to highlight and to let us know which ones were your favorites. They include The Godfather Part 3. Liberty Heights, Woo! Bugsy, yeah. Searching for Bobby Fischer, Woo! and Forget Paris. Other standout roles include Up Close and Personal, Baby's Day Out, Airheads, Queen's Logic, Wait Until Spring, Bandini, Eye for an Eye, The Runner, and Thinner. Joe had a starring role in the CBS miniseries of Mario Puzo's best-selling novel, The Last Dawn. And that garnered him an Emmy Award nomination. He also enjoys appearing regularly as the voice of Fat Tony on The Simpsons. Joe starred for two seasons as police, chill Will, police chief Will Girardi in Joan of Arcadia. The show, the show received several Emmy and Golden Globe nominations during its run. Now since 2007, Joe has starred in the original episodes of the hit drama, Criminal Minds. And we've got a lot of fans of Criminal Minds here is on CBS and now can be seen in syndication on ION Television. Now that's where he plays FBI Special Agent David Rossi. His contribution to the hit series has catapulted the show into one of ION's highest rated series and in turn helped ION recently record its most wa watched quarter ever. Joe recently lent his voice to the upcoming Disney Sorry. Pixar film Cars 2, which we'll be seeing soon. Hell of a voice, he has by the several way. projects in the oh, works, including man. a web series. For the past nine years, Joe has participated in the National Memorial Day concert in Washington, D.C. He co-hosts co the concert with Gary Sinise, and he's always been a supporter, let me add, always been a supporter of our men and women who serve. And in 2005, he was appointed the honorary chairman for the salute to hospitalized veterans. Yeah. In 2007, he was instrumental in raising thousands of dollars for o Operation Iraqi Children, a charity formed by Gary Sinise to give school supplies to children in Iraq and Afghanistan, delivered by U.S. soldiers. And that's only a little bit of his charitable work. He has literally raised millions of dollars for charities all over the world, including Autism, the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center, pediatric AIDS research and many others. I could go on and on, but you've heard enough. Let's bring to the stage Joe Montaigne. Yeah. Now you don't 
didn't hear, get to hear yet from Joe because we have a few people who've asked to uh, share a few words and thoughts about Joe. However, before they speak, uh, we received a telegram this week from his friends from the band Chicago. Let me share what they said. They said, to a great guy, fellow musician, and longtime dear friend, you've sure come a long way from walking Chicago's west side to the Walk of Fame. We're so proud of you, Arlene, and the girls. And as a musician, you're a great actor. You are welcome to play with us anytime, Chicago. And now for our first speaker today, ladies and gentlemen, I have the distinct honor to introduce a great American. He is currently working in the Pentagon as the Director of Marine Corps Staff, and he has served his country for over 37 years. Please help me welcome Joe's good friend, Lieutenant General Willie Williams, U.S. Marine Corps. We are the well, thank you for that, uh, for that kind introduction. And, uh, let me just say it is truly an honor for me to participate in this time-honored tradition of recognizing our best in entertainment industry. And I thank you, sir, for selecting our honoree today. But Mr. Joe, I maintain you, without a doubt, is an accomplished entertainer and one to be recognized with a star on this Hollywood Walk of Fame. Okay. For entertainment and acting is what he does. But I'm here to speak to you about who he is. Uh, what's on the inside of him. What it is that he is compassionate about. What it is that drives him to do so much more. Yes, it's true that Joe's been around film and television industry for some years and it's quite a lengthy resume. But what's even more impressive to me is for me and others like me who were devoted to, to serving our country and devoted to a life of service, really is what Joe has done away from film. You see, it's obvious that Joe understands what freedom is all about. Joe understands that, that freedom does not come without a price. He understands that those who wear the cloth of our nation put their lives on the line each and every day so that we can enjoy the fruits of, of this country and so that Joe and others like Joe can actually do what they enjoy doing. Hey, hey. And it's because of that that, uh, that Joe has dedicated himself to serving those like me, to serving those of us who are in uniform. And I think that's in part because of Joe's family, his family history. Where you see five of Joe's uncles, uh, Joe's five uncles, two of which are Marines, I might add, uh, you know, and, uh, and his father-in-law, they all served in World War II. And in attendance today, in addition to Joe's uh, wife, Arlene, and his, and his girls, is one of those uncles, and, I, and we call him Uncle Willie, which is a fine name, as you might add. And, uh, and uh, he's a Purple Heart recipient, so he, too, enjoys and should really So really, Joe understands and he appreciates you know, what the men and women in uniform do for this nation. And he shows that by volunteering his time and efforts to support our troops. He spent time with wounded veterans, and as you heard, he was named the honorary chair of the Salute to Hospital Veterans in 2005. And on a regular basis, you can find Joe visiting with our wounded in LA and in Washington, D.C., just to give them just a brief respite from their, their worries, from their injuries as they go to be Joe's effort in support of homeless veterans here on the streets of LA, Operation Iraqi Children, and a number of other charities have literally saved countless lives. And when those lives that saved, in some cases, those faceless lives that have never seen, this effort has helped to save countless of them. And this newest charity you just heard about is the Autism Care and Treatment uh, for, this is for families, military families of children with autism. You know, I, I went on, on site and I took a look at his website and I tell you, it's absolutely moving and inspiring for me and it's absolutely uh, compelled me to want to want to do more. So, personally knowing a number of those families, you know, I, uh, Joe, I want you to know how much I appreciate your effort and those because uh, those are my friends. So, thank you for that. 
And there are a number of other charities and good deeds that we can talk about uh, by Joe, but uh, time does not permit me to do so. So I'll just end it by saying that I can think of no one more deserving of this great honor. You know, not only has Joe made significant contributions in the world of film, again, he's donated countless hours to supporting those fighting for freedom, which is great, this great nation provides to its citizens. So Joe, congratulations. And on behalf of a great nation and a great Marine Corps, I just say God bless and God bless you and your family for continued service. Thank you.